Okay, let's go. Let's see how fast you are. All right, Jax. Come back. <laughs> Dang, you're fast. Hey everyone, Derek here. Another episode, 8th Avenue, Fort Worth. Please. I think we're on our fifth episode. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> if you're just joining us on this channel, this is our restaurant build out in Fort Worth, Texas. This is Derek Allen's Texas Barbecue. We're showing our full build out, every phase, the whole project. We're sharing everything that we're doing here with everyone. So I'm going to show you all what's been going on over here the last couple of weeks. We finally got our builder out here. They've been doing a lot of work. Let me take you all for a tour and show you. So you'll see over here in the corner, the major change so far has been the walk-in being built. And if you remember before, this was just a blank area. So it'll all be framed in where you won't be able to see this, but this is our walk-in cooler that we'll use for the restaurant. Right here on the side will be a glass door that'll be built in. This will be for our drinks. And then you'll we'll access the walk-in through the back side here. This is a door that's being cut. This will be a door swing out this way. You can see they've already started cutting the whole thing. And then here's the inside of our walk-in. It's pretty good size. Over here is our drink station area. Then right back over here will be a storage closet. So here's our serving counter that's got some work done. Let me explain how this is gonna look. So this serving counter actually be built up to about 40, uh, 58 inches and it'll go across. And then I think it's gonna be cut about right here. And then this 36 inch gap, this will be our dessert display case. And then to the right, this will all be checkout area. So this will stay the same height. And then back here in this area, this will be a cutout for access to the smokehouse in the back area. So this will be another door that's cut, just like the walk-in cooler door. They started taking down the fence and they're getting ready to pour the slab for the smokehouse back here. So that'll be coming in the next couple of weeks as well. So these planters, I'm actually gonna take this metal home and use it for my next smoker for the firebox. Thanks to my landlord. He's an awesome guy, he's really supportive. I definitely recommend if you're looking at a spot, find a landlord that's gonna be very supportive of what you're doing. And I feel God put me in front of this guy and, and we met each other for a reason because he is so supportive and helping me with every aspect in this whole process. It's a rainy one out here today, y'all. It's like 30 degrees. It's been raining all day long. It's all right, we're still getting stuff done though. So this is a piece of wood that I brought from home that I'm working on staining to be the countertop, the bar height countertop in there. So I'm, I'm testing out some different colors. So I'm gonna take it in and see how they match up. Okay, so look at that. See the orange? Yes. Do you think that looks pretty cool? Or do you think it should be darker like this? Um, let me see. I think it should be like this. Orange? Yes. Kind of matches this over here, doesn't it? Yeah. The wall? I want um, uh, to like tear all this wood down and put like wood kind of like that. Because I don't like this wood because it kind of looks Old. Probably gonna leave that up, but we'll paint. We might paint some of it. Yeah, we could paint some of it black and white. 
Sounds pretty good. Make it match kind of how we're doing all the other stuff. Yeah, or black and gray. But what if y'all made a mistake? Like, what if it gets too close to the door? Like, what if someone comes in and they get bumped on the table? Yeah, that's a good point. So we'll probably only make the table come to here. Oh, I know. Like, but how do we take that off? Like, we can, like, do this. And then, like, we pass that door and then do that. Do it but over there, too? If we do that. Hey, so check this out, y'all. This is an LED sign that we just got last week. This was originally supposed to go on the top of the building on the front, but it turned out to be too small. So we're gonna use this on the inside and it's LED lit, it lights up. And so I think we're gonna put it right here on this wall. I think it'll look pretty good. I would put it out, out on the patio, but I'm afraid it would get stolen out there because we're not going to have a total enclosure in to, to lock everything up. So, but I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't even got, got to light it up yet. I got to wire it up. It's got a, it's got a special transformer box that you have to wire in. Let us know in the comments. Do you think it should be hung right there or where else do you think we could put it on the ceiling? Can put it on the back wall, walk-in cooler. There's a lot of areas that can go in here. So I wanna talk about permitting for a second and how all that works with the city. So all of this work that you see in here, this can all be done without a permit for the city because this spot was already permitted for a restaurant this isn't really considered major structure changes. This is all interior work. Now, we had to put in a permit with the city because we're building the smokehouse on the back side of the restaurant, which is a big external structure. So that requires electrical, plumbing, uh, fireproof, it has to go through fire, it has to go through everything. So because we're doing a major structure on the back side, we had to do a permit with the city. And that's what took all the time for all this to get started was waiting for the permit to get through, waiting for them to pass it through every aspect. So that took about two months. And we got our permit totally approved about three weeks ago. And then after that, it takes about a week or two for my builder to get out here. So now that they're out here, everything is really starting to move. You're going to see a lot of changes here over the next couple of weeks. So that's it for another video, y'all. Stay tuned in the next couple of weeks. We have a lot going on out here. And also, we're going to be reopening our VIP soft open list. This is a list of people that are gonna be invited to our VIP soft open out here. Some of our old customers will remember last year we were slated to open Frisco and we had we opened the VIP soft open list. We had a huge response. We still have all those people and we're gonna keep all those people, but we're gonna be opening it back up in the next couple of weeks. Thanks everyone.